Under President Agai Ndechile Maza administration, Zambia has continued to make steady progress in the fight against corruption, judging from the Corruption Perception Index by the Transparency International. This development has cheered a delegation from the Global Transparency International, led by its chairperson, Francois Valian, who called on President Hagen Dechlema campaigned by the TIZ Zambian chapter members. You held the promise that you made in 2021 to fight corruption. And that is uh, very remarkable. And the um, increase that we observed in the Corruption Perceptions Index that you know that we publish every year, and that was a remarkable increase by 12 persons from 33 to 37, also shows it is not an exact science. There is no perfect correlation between this index and what a government does or doesn't do. But we fully support at the global level the analysis of our chapter that it shows the progress that has been made in the fight against corruption in your country. President Hitchleman, in his response, reiterated government's resolve the fight against corruption. We are committed to the fight against corruption. Uh, we inherited a lot of difficulties around there, institutional breakdowns, the whole governmental system is somehow polluted. We all know corruption is, steals money uh, meant for school children to stay in school, takes away resources meant to deliver quality health services for our population, not just in Zambia, but on the continent and global. The head of state explains that in its efforts to fight corruption, government is implementing and enforcing comprehensive anti-corruption laws and regulations that hold individuals accountable for corrupt practices. You have already touched on the um, access to information, uh, so which is, which is a law that was sitting on our laps, Mr. Lifuka will tell you, maybe 22 years. No government before has had the stamina to make it law. We have made it law. I think it demonstrates our commitment to fight against corruption. We have established a Judicial Training Institute through the Judicial Training Institute of Zambia Act Number no. 14 of 2023. We're happy to share these notes, yeah, so that you can see a couple of a myriad of measures, if I may say, we are taking to reinforce the fight against corruption, so that the, the, the judicial side also is up to speed. We have set up the um, Economic and Financial Crimes Court dedicated to deal with um, mostly corruption. The president has since reiterated his government's resolve to recover all assets and finances deemed to have been dubiously acquired. We're not walking back on asset recovery because we need that money. So it can go to provide uh, school desks, it can go to buy medicines, can go to deal with the drought. We have a drought now and we need to feed our people. We need to move from rain-fed agriculture to irrigation. So we need that man. It must go to who owns it. And it's the people. So I'm not shy to say, we're not shy to say we will drive the asset recovery even harder with a quicker prosecution. We're already seeing indications of those that thought the cases would take 20 years. They are now coming forward to say, they would like to invoke that law. The meeting was also attended by Justice Minister Mlambo Haimbe, Mr. Ruben Lifuka, who is the Vice Chair of the Global Board of Transparency International and the Vice Chair of the Council of the International Anti-Corruption Conference, as well as TIZ Executive Director Maurice Nyambe. Kalan Shima, reporting for the news in Osaka.